Lucas, from the first time I saw you at the campus, I earmarked you to be my reward from God, and God offered you to me, I accepted the honor, I committed to pay the consideration, and the divine transaction was concluded. <laughs> should be perfect. We think our husband should be the knight in shining armor on day two of the marriage. Why do we put such huge expectations on each other? When we know in life nothing comes on a silver platter. The same way you put in the effort and you persisted and you've applied yourself in order to become the advocate that you are today is the same way you're going to invest in that marriage, apply yourself to that marriage, Take the principles of God, the time-tested principles of God and apply it to the marriage so that it can thrive. And at the end of the day, you'll have a beautiful marriage. The grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is greener where it's water than taken care of. As I took it around constantly and abiding love with this free. I pledge myself to you. One day I see Dixon. I pledge myself to you. Come in here, Olivia Docas. With my body, I honor you. Within the love of God. Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit. before you in proof of my love for you but I promise that uh, I shall every day furnish you with better and further particulars of my love and care for you. I shall never get myself encumbered with any interest be it legal or equitable. You shall always be my sole legal owner. I shall never photocopy, create or establish any annexure of children out of this marriage. You have indeed put me under full love instructions on retainer. Dixon, my husband. I promise to be your friend. I promise to be your helper. I promise to be the good wife. And to be your support system. I'll always be here to talk to you, to encourage you and to comfort you. I love you and I love the way you love me. Should uh, any cause of action arise between me and you, I shall ensure that we settle it amicably in love and in reconciliation and it shall not go to full trial. You shall never have any judgment pending or executions against me. For the status quo shall always be maintained. <laughs> Father, I contend that uh, all rumors filed before you against me, which are not in the interest of this marriage and in the interest of this lifetime tour of love, I pray that you dismiss them with costs for being baseless, frivolous, and vexatious. <laughs> the vow I make today, my dear wife shall never be amended, I shall be bound by my pleadings, and I shall execute the same for this marriage not to abate. That is my vow. I love you. May God be in the midst of this. May he guide our journey. I promise to love you forever. 